I created this really interesting instrument that I played myself. I was positioning myself on four parts of the room with a drum kit, playing all these toms at the same time, but I would do it in four takes. So one take would be in the left corner of the room from very quiet to loud. Then I would move the whole drum kit to the other corner. Then I would move the whole drum kit to the other corner and then to the fourth corner, doing the same thing over and over again. Now this instrument has a massive quality to it. See, it's really, really beefy because you're hearing all these transients at the same time. Um, let's move on. I'm you know, just picking some random instruments out of the 500 that we made. Um, bass drums. So these are bass drums not played you know, with, with, with your foot when it comes to creating a rock kit or a bass drum to create a dance track. This is like, the bass drum is like up this high and you know you kneel in front of it almost like a taiko and you hit it with with uh, sticks to create this sound um, this is a marching band marching band drums now i sampled the complete marching band kit i have a few of them and especially the high drums sound really really interesting when they're very you know high in, 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 in energy. Or the 10 inch. Or the 12 inch. Now we're getting to drum kits, the Tai Yamaha drum. Another 10 inch of that drum kit. The list goes on and on and on and on. And eventually we get to an instrument that I really like, which is a two pan, which is, it doesn't sound that loud when you, when you actually play it live, but it has a really beefy quality to it. with a lot of really nice low ends. Check that sound, I mean. That's a lower tuning. Um, well, let's go to the very low tuning, the 26 inch. And then we get two concert toms, and then the list goes on and on. Um, but let's go back to a rhythm. So this is like a little preview of, of the sounds we uniquely made for, for Mad Max. Um, but let's go back to a very, very simple rhythm that we, that we, that we recorded. Um, so let's just say we make the first part really quiet. And the second part as loud as we can. So that way, th this is different for every instrument. You gotta figure out what the highest note is that you played. So this is like, you know, this is fine. So now we're gonna copy this part to a next track. I'm gonna open this thing up and just see where the highest note of this instrument is. It's like, ah, we don't hear anything. So at this point, we're too high. We need to come down. Oh, there we go. Now we hear sounds. So that's in the high range. And then I'm just going to copy paste this over to the next drum. And let's do the same thing here. Let's see what the highest note is. Ah, we're too high. We're good now. Uh, let's go to the other, a fourth serdo. Let's see how high we are here. Ah, I don't hear it. Let's come down. Okay, so now we have four certos um, playing that same rhythm. So let's see how these four certos sound. Not bad at all. 